Hi everybody, welcome back, hope you're all well. I just wanted to do a mini plant haul with you today and show you the last five plants that I've purchased. Hello. Uh, excuse me. To begin with, we've got my Calathea Lancifolia. Almost forgot the name. Come off there. So I've been looking for this one for ages, um, but they haven't had it in any of my local garden centres or plant shops. I prefer to buy plants in the garden centres now rather than online, just because I've had a, a few bad experiences online with plants turning up kind of crispy or with bugs or just not in a good condition. So. I personally prefer to go to the garden centre, have a look at all the plants, check to make sure they haven't got any bugs, and then you can go through them and pick your favourite one. Um, so I, they've just had a brand new uh, shipment of these, so I had about 15 to choose from, it was amazing. So let me show you what it looks like. I absolutely love the patterns on the leaves. This one's also known as rattlesnake calathea um, because of the patterns and the shape of the leaves. Um, he's starting to close up now for the evening because it's starting to get um, dark out. Well, not dark, but it's um, it's not as bright now. It's funny. This one always closes up first. So that's my lancifolia, and then we've got this little guy. So cute. You can tell that I like my prayer plants. This one, I've forgotten how to pronounce it. So I'm just gonna show you the label. I'll put all the names on the screens anyway. But this one, I just love the patterns as well. And he's getting a few new leaves. He's grown about three new leaves since I've had him. I haven't had him long. Next we have my Calathea Macoyana. It's a beast. It's growing so big and tall. Look how big the new leaves are. The newest leaves. And it's got another one. Oh, another one on the way here. I absolutely love this Calathea. I think this is one of my favourites. I just ordered a plant stand from Ikea for this one, so really excited to receive that on Monday. Yeah. What do you think? This one is another one that you don't see that often in the local plant shop, so as soon as I saw it, I was like, yes, I need this plant. And I want to get another one for the bathroom but I've gone back and they don't have them in now, so just have to keep going back and hope that they get another one in. Oh, there's another leaf coming. Oh my God, everything's just growing like crazy. I thought everything would stop growing now because it's coming into autumn, but they're still going. Next we have my Peperomia angulata which Marvin has kindly just taken a load of bites out of. Thank you. I got this from Ikea. I love how this one trails and it climbs as well. It just, yeah, it looks really wild, I like it. And the patterns on the leaves are really nice. The last plant that I recently purchased is a Calathea White Fusion. Oh, it's heavy. So beautiful. And these are complete divas. You can see it's already crispy. That's how it came 
but I was expecting that because I know how difficult these are to keep happy and you need the humidity really high for these to thrive. So I'll do my best. But look at it. These are really hard to find here in the UK. So as soon as I saw they were selling them online, even though I prefer to buy them from local places, I had to get it because you don't really see these often at all. But I really hope I can keep this one happy. Also, I've got an update on my death row Calathea white fusion that I bought probably about three months ago from the garden centre. It was on the um, reduced section because it was pretty much half dead. It was all crispy and I discovered when I got it home as well it's got mealy bugs. It had mealy bugs. So I did a few treatments on it. I cut most of the leaves off. Um, and then it's really funny because the day after I ordered this white fusion, my other white fusion that hasn't done anything for months started to grow a new leaf. It must have heard me talking about replacing it or something. I don't know. Anyway, here it is. I just wanted to show you because I've literally cut it all back and then this new leaf just sprouted out. It's amazing. So I'm really happy about that. Maybe next summer this will look a bit more um, full, hopefully. I did show you what this looked like on my indoor jungle tour part two. It still had, I think I still had about five or six leaves on it. And then a few days later, I decided to chop them down. And then I ordered the other Calathea. Wow, I think that's about it. I hope you enjoyed my mini haul and I guess I'll see you in my next video. Remember to click on the bell icon to get notifications on my new videos. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon. Take care. Bye.